Angie from Angie's Craft Corner. Thank you for joining us today. We are doing a Father's Day card, but as you can tell, I have nothing on my glass plate. And yes, I want on glass and those fabric underneath it to make it look halfway pretty and more, it's easier to see maybe. But anyways, we are doing a Father's Day card. Uh, Father's Day will be here in just a few weeks before we even know it. So, to that, and we are going to start out with all solid white cardstock. So, if you are scared of that, let me remind you, it's fun, it's easy, let's have some fun. I am using my Frisco's rotary blade to do this. I am using a piece of eight and a half by eleven cardstock, and I'm cutting it in half at five and a half. And then I'm cutting it down to four and a quarter. No, I'll do this for you. And that being said, I'm going to cut this about three inches. By about three and a half, I think. And this was this. We'll see what else we need. <laughs> I'm going to just move that out of the way. And I'm going to fold my corn in half. My card base. And a lot of people score these and all that. I have never had no luck with it. Easiest thing for me to do is just do it with my hands. But I will use a bone folder and it's my Cricut one my old Cricut <laughs> bone folder and lay it out okay now here's the fun deal we are going to use distress ink and this is all the distress inks I've got and on the bottom I have put the distress ink foam dealies and I am going to use chip and I think I'm going to use pine needle okay. yeah I just want to throw it here maybe not we'll use uh, ice sponge and chip whatever that was yeah that's what we'll use I'm going to use the dark one on the base and then put the light one on here and I'll put this down. So I'm going to do that while I'm thinking of it while I'm not having to. What? And I'm going to also use art glue, but we we know that. <laughs> okay, I'm just going to use my little tool. Now I still say it's easier to do it with an ink pad or a, not ink pad, but a cotton ball. But I'm trying. And you don't have to ink the whole thing on this because, you know, most of it is going to be covered. I 
And if you don't like it, I mean, it's paper and ink. And I'm still learning how to use these distress inks. To me, by stamping up, it's just so much easier to do. Because that's what I want on, um, I guess. I don't know. Let's see what a cotton ball does. Let's see if I can smooth this out some. It don't look so proudly. Oh, yeah. Is everybody going to does everybody have a busy week this week? I still like my cotton balls. <laughs> here but I won't forget where it came from. I know me. I'm just gonna grab another cotton ball y'all. But I just like cotton balls. <laughs> now if y'all good with these go for it. I'm just I still like my cotton balls. They just seem to soak up me. to me. Uh, baby wipe. Make a lot of And it looks like it's fixing a little storm here. Okay, I got this stamp set from Wish.com, and I'm gonna use this old truck. Can y'all see that? Ain't that pretty? And neat. I can figure out how to open the package. <laughs> and I have not used this yet. So y'all the first one to see this. And I was not going to do this, but I guess I will because my other idea is not going to fit. So I'm going to use a jet black stay down. Now 
And I'm going to try my best to center this as good as I can. And I just rocked it. But it still came out good. Oh, yeah. And I think this stamp is like two or three bucks. At the most, it may be five. On um, Wish.com. I'm taking my Spectre Normals TB3 and going to just pull this in. My dad had an 04 70, 74, 73, 73. Oh, for uh, pickup for years. And then he went to a 79 Dodge. He drove it 14, 15 years. I have more memories in the Dodge. I got it when I was fairly young. And matter of fact, I don't know how driving that old 79 Dodge. And I still drive a Dodge today. Matter of fact, that's about all I've ever I've had one Chevrolet and one Nissan. And everything else I've had to my name has been a Dodge. Well, I'll take that back. I've got as, as a few months ago, I have got a BMW to my name, SUV, that my husband found. It was a, a friend deal. Mm -hmm. I drive it as much as possible. But I still drive my Dodge. <laughs> This is running boobs in the soup. And this is going to take a few minutes to do. It is so detailed. I didn't realize it's so detailed when I started. I'm not sure what this block is. It's been so long since I've seen the old truck like this. Matter of fact, my Uncle Eugene, my dad's brother, drove a black old truck just about like this for years. I have got ants coming out of the living Now I'm going to use the Silver Nivo Creative markers on this to get the um, illusion of a uh, crown. I may not like this. But it's too late now. Okay, 
Now I'm back in with my blade to finish this line out. Now I'm gonna finish this out with blade. take a IG-10 of my Spectre Normals and I mean it's just about like black it's more it's mostly gray but it looks more black to me and I have a black but I don't like the tip on it one of our kids has been in my mom's and kind of messed the tip up she didn't mean to, but it happened. I'm gonna cover that. that looks like a funky turn. Okay, I'm going to use 10 3. Oh, I need to watch the rhythm. for the grass and I'm going to use a big deal of it I should have been three that is some dark grass y'all Yellow one or L L Y the headlights. Okay. And all of this will be running at the bottom of your screen. And I've got my little blue. Miss, I have any white scraps. Well, I probably do. I just can't find them. So, we are going to. I'm going to cut about a half of an inch off of this. Or like a band or a ribbon. Or Whatever you want to call it. And I'm going to use EB8. And with this, I'm just going to hold this all in. Maybe this is darker than all we need.
So you can use ink on it, uh, ink, your ink pads, and do, do it just like we did this. You can use any marker you have. You can use um, crayons, cones. I mean, don't let it stop. You know, think outside the box. I guess is what I'm trying to say. Okay, I'm going to try something new. I am going to put my blending solution on a cotton ball. Oh no, I guess I need to squeeze that too bad. Too much. And I'm going to just run this over. Because this is darker than I wanted. Does anybody else ever do this? Okay. Now I'm just going to make dots on this. Just like so. And for the ones that don't know, I just use the 91% alcohol for this. To me, it works just as good as the blending solution and a lot cheaper. But you can get a pretty good size bottle of it at Walmart for two or three bucks. I can't remember. And, uh, let me put the lid back on this. And I'm going to sit this over in front of the fan. And um, well, I can go ahead and do what I need to do. And I'm gonna put. I'm using my made made it stamps, and this is the best dad for this corn. And I think I do have the best dad. I know I got the best dad. <laughs> there ain't no doubt in my mind. I know I got the best dad. He's put up a lot over the years with me. And I'm so thankful I still have him. Okay, I'm trying to find the stays on ink. And I'm just going to stick it right about here on this. Then grab my whack. And grab the paper more again. You think I'd want to do all this at once, but I have it. And I'm just trimming this down to the size I want. 
And it's been a while since I've used this, so y'all bear with me. Okay, I'm using the awkward glue. And if you use alcohol on paper, your ATG gun is not going to stick too good until it completely dries. Just an F. I I've learned that from mistakes over the years. And I do this, I mean, I do this so much, I don't even think nothing about it. I mean, I do a lot of my corns when I'm at a crop like this because I don't want to take a whole slew of paper with me because it's so heavy. And, uh, and I've done it on video before. And it, and you can come up with some pretty interesting deals. I'm just taking extra. No, I'm not even. I'm just going to take a pair of scissors to this. I'm not even cutting it. No. Ain't the best. And then I'm going to just put my happy Father's Day right here in the corner. And using hot glue, hot glue again. And here's a card that was made with all white cardstock. And y'all seen me do it. Seen how how easy it was. And I hope y'all enjoy this Father's Day one. And join us next Monday. For another Father's Day card, and the next few Mondays is going to be dedicated to Father's Day, and we'll see what we can come up with. Have a blast, blast day, and have a wonderful week, and join us tomorrow for something. I don't remember what is on the schedule. So, we'll see y'all. Have a blast, blast day. We love you. Give us a thumbs up for this video. Subscribe to our YouTube channel. And visit us at AngieCraftCorner.com. And we'll see you later.